Eric and Doug, the Senate president, in a letter told his colleagues that he plans to step down from his leadership position as this investigation gets underway. And based on our interviews this morning, it seems that pressure from his colleagues had been mounting. Uh, both Senate Democrats and Republicans meeting behind closed doors this morning, first separately, then expected to come together to discuss the appointment of a special investigator and all matters related to these allegations. Ryan Hefner, the husband of Senate President Stan Rosenberg, is accused of sexually assaulting and harassing four men with connections to state politics. Hefner allegedly offered them influence on Beacon Hill. Another reported allegation surfaced over the weekend about a lewd photo being sent via text. Senator Rosenberg made his announcement about stepping down around 11 this morning. And before that, his colleagues talked with us about the need to put alleged victims and the institution first. He has to think uh, long and hard about whether the Senate can operate uh, during the pendency of this investigation uh, with him in the chair. That being said, I also think it's incumbent on us to complete this investigation as thoroughly and as quickly as possible. I don't see how the victims can feel comfortable uh, coming forward and participating in an independent investigation. If the Senate President remains in all his duties, I just doubt that any of the folks that have been aggrieved will step forward. The Senate is planning to hold a formal session this afternoon, and it is likely that they will order an independent investigation. But uh, Senator Tarr says the body does not have any jurisdiction over spouses. Uh, so Minority Leader Tarr stressed that any criminal findings that would possibly be uncovered in this investigation would be turned over uh, to the proper authorities. Now in all of this, uh, many this morning calling this a sad and dark day for the Senate and also many praising Stan Rosenberg for what he has done as a leader, calling him transformational. Live at the Statehouse, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5.